just confirming what you already what we already figured yesterday. Okay. And we have some. Uh, every morning we uh, we sit on the bridge and we um, have a quick discussion between all the heads of department, the captain and the, and the chief scientist, so that we're all on the same page and we all know what's going to be happening in the next 24 hours or in the next couple of days, and then we can then take that information and go off and communicate with the rest of the guys, um, so that everybody knows what's happening. Every morning, all the science come to daily meeting, talking about plan in today and next day. Our main business on deck is to support the science party. In the remaining time, we focus on maintenance to keep Falco in a good condition. We're trying to keep uh, all scientists happy, taking care for their equipment, at the same time providing uh, reliable power, propulsion, all services. It's a challenge. We're never bored here. There's always something new. So here is um, a seismic image taken in the water basin. It, it is acquired by seismic uh, reflection method. Um, so we can see here different uh, sediment layers. Here is a discontinuity in the layers. Possibly suppose that it is a fault. And another interesting feature is this sort of feature here. Two folds, two vertical folds very close to each other. Well, the day starts um, with a morning meeting on the bridge and then I come back down to the ship's office to check emails to see what I have to arrange and to plan for the day. And then at 9 o'clock I have an interior meeting with our stewardesses and inform them about things that are going on in the next couple of days. Arranging flights, arranging things, emails, requests coming through. This is the best part uh, in the survey, the master fault we call it. And uh, the master fault uh, produce a, a pool part basins and I think it's because uh, there's a movement. I wouldn't really say that any day is particularly normal because any day at sea anything can happen. Despite our best efforts, there can be equipment failures or weird power issues or connection problems and so we're constantly striving to troubleshoot and try to prevent things as much as possible. We have to be prepared to be able to fix anything that does come up so that the scientists can continue to collect their data. It's not difficult, it's just different in every way. So we need to think ahead where you will be and how many people we are going to have on board and for how long the trip will be. So I'm working at night, I'm doing the night shift uh, from midnight to, to 8, so during the day I sleep and when my day begins, it should, it's usually time for the, for the sunset, so yeah, I begin my day with the sunset. Yeah.